Hello everyone, Daryl here, and we're here today in Oxford, Michigan, and we're checking out a building that's sadly not going to be here too much longer, and it's right here, we're going to show it to you, the former Long Branch Saloon, which opened a long time ago, 1980, July 1980 this opened, uh, Larry Payne and Jim Tuttle, I believe, were the two people who started it. And when it first opened, it didn't have all these windows across the front here. This was all closed off. It was dark inside. And the theme was an old western saloon. They got the name, of course, from the old TV show Gunsmoke. With Marshall Dillon and Miss Kitty and Chester the Deputy. And they thought it would be a nice themed restaurant and lounge for here in the small town of Oxford, Michigan. Sign out front along M24, it says Burning Oak Smokehouse now. But for years it was the Long Branch Saloon and Mr. B's and Callaway's and Chardonnay. And it operated as that for about 15, 16 years until the mid to late 90s when it was sold to Mr. B's, a local tavern chain that took it over, remodeled it brightened it up a little bit, opened it up, and added some new features. But over the years, they added a lot of different things to the entertainment venue to try and make it popular. They had a video arcade. They had a comedy club, uh, special meetings. They had meeting halls here for local civic groups to meet in. And it was quite a big deal when it opened in 1980 because Oxford and the Hall of Michigan was in a real severe economic downturn when they first started planning this in uh, 79 or so. They started planning and getting the permits together. Um, the economy was in the toilet. Unemployment rate was huge because of the 1979 Iranian fuel crisis. And it was just a terrible time to step out and take a chance like this and start a business. And if you're from Oxford area now and you don't remember what it was like back then, let me give you a little clue here. North of the village limits, right back there, where the hospital and the insurance agency and the school there are, and a new school and a condos up here, there was, none of this was here. This was a struggling economy. There was nothing here. This, the village limits was the end of the town as you know it. From here on out to Metamora Road, there was nothing except for the Sea Ray plant, which was probably suffering from a lot of layoffs in the 1979-80 time frame too. But, um, and they took a chance. They got this piece of property here north of town and they built this place and it did pretty well for them. Cause they, they operated it for like 15 years or so. And as you can see, it's a western theme you could probably still see it's a western theme motif they had an auction here last week and they sold off all the fixtures and equipment um, they put in at one point they put in volleyball courts here and it looks like a horseshoe pitch i'm just gonna walk around and see it all because it's pretty cool and they had a, I say auction about a week ago and got rid of most of the equipment but yeah I'm trying to remember oh the grand, that's what I wanted to talk about, The uh, go on about the economy a little bit more. Um, interest rates back in 1980 were in the double digit range, even for banks paying interest. Um, CDs, long term certificate deposits, were paying double digit interest at one point, and borrowing money was way up into the mid double digit range. So, you know, it's, it was hard to get money, it was hard to uh, build something back then, but these guys took a chance. And one of the owners of Mr. Payne was also a cancer survivor and was struck down with that. Um, but he survived and went on to continue running the business. And we're just going to peek in the door here because it's actually open for some reason. But we're not going to go in. But we'll just peek in and show you. The upstairs here in the bar area. Like this. Oh, here still. There. It was much darker in there when it was first opened, but I said we're not going to go in and nose around because that wouldn't be right. But. So we're going to just move on here. See. A lot of the stuff that didn't sell laying out here from the auction that's cooler or whatever it was here. And then it's, it's just in a outdoor bathroom or a washing and equipment prep room, I imagine. And 
real tiki torches here. That's kind of cool. But um, on their first anniversary in July of 1981, they hosted a big fundraiser here for the American Cancer Society, and they actually got Amanda Blake to come and be a guest celebrity person here at the cancer fundraiser because she was a cancer survivor herself. And yeah, these gold medal flower boxes still have flour in them. Miss um, Blake made the trip out here from Arizona, I believe it was, where she lived at the time. And she helped raise a bunch of money for the American Cancer Society. It was a huge success. And it brought a lot of publicity to Oxford and to the Long Branch Saloon here. See, it's just all memories now. And it's going to be torn down very soon. And they're going to make it into a strip mall. See the uh, new tractor supplies shop there. There's going to be a strip mall, this whole area here. And it's going to be the main tenant, the person who bought the property, is a chain of restaurants locally called Leo's Coney Island. And Leo's has purchased the property. And they're going to make a strip mall here. And they're going to be the primary tenant of the strip mall with one of their many local locations will be located here along with a couple other units that will be available for rent. And you can see that there's still in the back kitchen here all this stuff that they tore apart and dug out when they were having a sale last week. We'll just peek in here real quick. This is the back kitchen area. Really nasty and grubby looking but any restaurant would be after it's sat for a while and been used. Um, and you haven't actually pulled the equipment out to clean behind it, but here it is. Uh, racks and racks of spices and barbecue sauce. and It's been through a variety of openings and configurations in the years since Mr. B's left. There's been at least two or three restaurants here. Callaway's, Chardonnay, the Burning Oak Smokehouse. They're just the places I can think off the top of my head that have occupied this spot. And I wanted to get a chance to show you this before it's gone. So we hope you enjoyed reminiscing here in Oxford and checking things out. Oh, there was a lady here when I came up. She's gone now. She's Someone here was salvaging some of the greenery and plants from around the building. You know, they're going to tear all this stuff down, so I guess... People figure it's okay if you come and dig up some of the plants and flowers and save those from the bulldozer. Which I can see that. And there's some nice plants here. It would be expensive to go out into a nursery and buy. So, this was the main entrance right here where people would come in at. We have the handicap ramp in the front door here. And there you have it. Abandoned restaurant in Oxford, Michigan, and once visited by a famous television celebrity. I'm Daryl. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hope you appreciate these little historical videos I do, and uh, hope you'll check out my channel. Hit that subscribe button, like the videos, maybe share it with some of your friends from. Oxford or friends who are fans of the old Gunsmoke TV show or Amanda Blake or any other thing that someone might like from this particular video. Have a great day. Bye for now.